Hello, my lovelies. Today we are doing another entry in our variations on a sock bun series because I like variations on a sock bun because it remains one of my favorite bases to build upon. Today's is the Rebecca variation. Uh, it's for Becky, but since it ends up looking a little bit old fashioned, uh, not in a bad way, but like historically we were going with Rebecca instead of Becky because Becky's all cheery and bright and Rebecca is more traditional. So, Rebecca variation. I hope you like it, Becky. Um, Any hoodles, uh, it's a low sock bun, which I never do. <gasps> I know. Hey. So, uh, what we're going to do, I think I will probably end up leaving my bangs out of this one. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but probably. So we need to uh, part the half front of our hair out because we are going to braid it. Braid. Um, so like from right behind your ears, all the way up to here, like so. Um, we're gonna pull that out and then we're gonna bun the rest of it. Uh, but yeah, this part we have to pull out. So separate this bit out. Um, before I mess with it, I'm just gonna wrap it up. BT dubs next week. I'm cutting my hair. Not all off, you guys. I'm trimming back up to classic. I just can't. <laughs> I can't anymore uh, with, you know, I was trying to get to knee length. Um, I'm mid-thigh solidly, but the ends just look a mess and you know you guys know, I have always been quality over quantity, and I just can't stand it. So I'm cutting it. Uh, yeah. So, what else? Um, it's just a way of things. It's my head, and I can do what I want. Uh, and I want it cut back up, because it's agitating me. <laughs> and I don't like it. All right, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and do the sock bun portion. Um, do you guys really need to see it? Maybe. Uh, every now and then I get newbies, and you guys know I usually do a, like, okay, go ahead and do that, and then we'll start from there, and some people are like, but I don't know how to do that, because I forget that on the very rare occasion, we do have new people that find us. Um, very rare. <laughs> but it happens. Um, so let me get this all smooth. I'm going to ponytail it. Um, and then I'll show you how to do a quick and dirty sock bun. Back all right. I'm ponied. Uh, quick and dirty sock bun. You need a bun form. And a hair tie. Ooh. Uh, I'm also going to pin this bun form down since this is low on my head and I just don't know. Uh, so to pin it down, I'm going to use a single covered in my hair. A single still covered in my hair. <gasps> Take three! A single one of these. I'm not even going to edit it. <sighs> Usually I edit that stuff out, you guys. Alright, so you're going to take your bun form, you're going to shove your fingers through, you're going to run your ponytail through this. Like so, and then we are going to pin the bun form to our head just so it won't move. Now I am hoping there is enough hair in this bottom ponytail to cover this bun form. I had a smaller one, but I don't know where it is. So we have to use the big one and just hope there's enough hair left over there to cover it. If not, we are gonna cover that with braids. So eh, take this, your other hair tie. What you need to do is fan all of this around your bun form to cover it up. And hopefully I will still manage to get coverage because this is a big bun form. And you know, usually it takes most of my hair to cover it. Hopefully not too much. It's peeking through. It feels okay. And then we pop it over. We're gonna check. It feels alright. And all of this hair split it into two. And it's all tangled up in this mess up here. Sorry. Now I feel like I have a veil of purple hair. Alright, 
So I need my mirror because I need to make sure I covered that bun form. out. Hello, Amos. Hello, Amos. Amos. Hi. Still here. <laughs> All right. There we go. Amos is coming, guys. He doesn't care. Cool. I actually did manage. Now, this hair, we're going to braid. Um, normally, I would do two rope braids and wrap around, but since the braids we're going to make out of the tops are going to be uh, lace, we are going to do them that way. We're going to make these English braids and wrap around. So I am making two English braids instead of just one English braid. So we have more braids. So I'm going to do that real quick. I'm going to English braid those up and then I'll be back and show you the next step. All right. Back in a sec. All right. So. We have a sock bun, we have two English braids. Now you can go ahead and wrap these around and pin them down. I'm gonna wait till I have all four. Uh, why? Because these braids have all my pretty colors in them and I would like them to show up. And if I put them down first, um, they'll be covered up. <laughs> and I want my colors. But if you are not worried about that, then you can just go ahead and wind these all around and pin them into your bun form now. But I'm going to wait slightly. Okay, now top part. So what we are doing with the top part is we are making two lace braids. Um, what type of lace braid you want to do is up to you. Um, you know, Dutch or French. Uh, I, I believe I think I'm going to do French. I'm going to do French. I want it to be a little less, um, sorry. I'm trying to figure out how to do it slightly, a slight side part, uh, because I just think that's more flattering on the face. Um, yeah. I'm just going to have to part it. Myself. Which means this will probably end up on this side. So we're going to part, try and make it somewhat even, not really, and this one's a little smaller. I suppose I should just do a center part uh, to make sure it's actually even, which is very upsetting. We'll see if I leave my bangs down or not. Maybe that will, will help it, as it were. I didn't even get... Why, why are you struggling with the parting, Torn? Because most of my hair is actually already in a bun in the back. Ah, uh, there we go. Good enough. All right. And I just keep catching because you see it's not, it only goes so far. All right. It doesn't need to be perfect. I'm not worrying about perfection today, guys. Just not. All right. So, yes, lace, we're, we're lace, French lacing. I want a French lace. You hear that at the bottom? That's why I need a trim. It's too Valkyrie, too grabby. I'm just going to end up damaging. And I just, I'm not feeling it. All right. Uh, for now, I'm going to try and leave these out as I braid, which means, give me a clip. Clip it over to the other side. For now. All right. So, French, of course, that's all my bottom braid. Do, 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 do. Three sections. We're going to go from the bottom first, so up, down. Only add to the outside strands, like so. And then braid. Brain. You guys know how to lace braid by now, I'm sure. So I'm going to do the same thing on both sides. Um, and you just add until there's no hair left. Um, and then braid them all the way to the bottom. So let me get this done and I shall return. All right, back in a sec. 
Alrighty, it's time for your mirror and your pins. This is what we have. We have our two lace braided um, BT dubs. I know I always say this, but as you're braiding, you know, when you add your last bit and you braid down, don't bring it over the same shoulder. You end up with weirdness. Bring it over the opposite shoulder to finish your braid, and then it will fall accordingly. Alrighty, so these two crossed over, as we see. So what we're going to do is just braid them. You want to cover up your band, of course. Braid them, yes. Wrap them around the outside. And then as we wrap, instead of like putting them right on top of the other, each other, we're going to put them beside each other. Basically, we're going to cover the bun form. So I'm going to pin. Uh, at this point, if you would like to fluff these braids to make them big and poofy and soft, go on. Get down with your bad self. Um, I'm not because I don't care. <laughs> That's not really what I'm going for. Um, more sleek, I guess. I could make it soft. I'm just not gonna. So, but if you would like to soften it up, then by all means, soften it up. Um, but like I said, don't wanna don't wanna mess with it. Okay. Let's see. We're there. Get a pin here. That's why you need your mirror, just to make sure that uh, you're not over overlapping your... They can overlap, but not um, just one on top of the other. Like, we want to kind of spread it out, fan it out, as it were. So, as you see, we're now down to the tail. Now, that I am going to tuck under the other braid so it doesn't stick out, hopefully. Yep. It's sticking a little on this side. Let's get under that braid. All right, we're going to do the same thing with the braid on the other side. Now, since we have already covered up our um, ponytail holder, we should just continue wrapping and pinning. And just pin them right into the bun form. This is why U-pins are excellent. This is why bun forms are excellent, because none of those pins are touching your head which is awesome because you can't feel it. So it makes it comfy. All right, um, I am going to finish with this pin and then what we're gonna do with these, you'll see in a sec, but let me finish all this pinning that you don't need to watch and I'll be right back. All right, now we're back to these two braids. Mm -hmm. Now, so we don't get like weirdness going on in the back, um, you want to start from, like, we're going to go with the left side, right? So I'm just going to pull it right up and start wrapping concentric, concentrically around. And I'm only going to pin to here, and then I'm going to do the same thing with this side so that um, we don't, this one won't, like, come out over top of all the rest of the braids. Hopefully that made sense. Sometimes I just do it, and I don't know how to explain it. Uh, add one more over here just to keep everything neat and then this side I see we're gonna go right underneath here should we go underneath no nope. I better go in front do 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 it's still going to overlap no matter what, isn't it? Darn it. Oh no. Okay. I got it. I got it. I got it. We'll start at the bottom and go around. Ha! There we go. I get it eventually. Like I said, sometimes to try things, I get them done. Things don't quite work. And then we do it again and things work. Yay! So uh, think of it kind of like the vortex. The left one goes up and over, the right one goes down and under, and then they go roundy roundy. Cool. This one's already going roundy roundy, so you find my braid, tuck it right beside it, and pin. All right, I'm gonna finish, I'm gonna finish pinning, and then we'll be back with the final results, and we'll decorate or something. Cool, back in a sec. So we're done. Um, rather than deal with my bangs, I flipped them up, tucked them in. <laughs> That's why these bangs are excellent. This is our finished style. 
Um, as you can see, my bun is still big. It's just a smaller bun form would make for a smaller bun, but I, you know, I couldn't find mine, so what have you. Um, there we go. Do, do, do. If you find that your braids won't fully cover your bun form, go for a smaller bun form or fluff your braids. Um, but I think it's pretty. I hope Becky likes it. Um, and now we get to decorating. So as you can see, when we got to the very center, we got a little swirl. And you can do something classy, you know, use one of these jobbies. I'll show you how that looks, you know, especially in the center. That's the one thing about sock buns. You can always just decorate the center. Oh, and then you can put sparkles all through the braids or add some flowers or what have you, uh, which I'm not going to do. I'm going to take this right back out because even though it is August, October is not far, and I'm really looking forward to all the Halloween spoopiness. Um, do you like these earrings? They're very heavy, as you can probably tell. Um, I made them. I bought these little ladies. I'll move your little dress around. Yeah. And the bargain bin, they had two, and I was like, oh, those will make earrings, so they're all my ladies. Uh, so we're going to go slightly creepy. I got my spider. Because um, that's what I feel like. So I'm going to put my spider in the center, if I can get him unhooked from where he's currently at. We'll use the purple one, because that way we'll match. Um, yeah. And my spider is going to go right in the center, because that's what I want. Inside. Nice. Excellent. Are we still, are we covering the center? Yeah. Good. Okay. Like so. And I'm going to put beadly bobs in because I'm feeling beadly bobs today. A green one on this side and a purple one on this side. These are nice because they go straight through. Oh, they will go straight through if it wasn't for eight, my eight million pins in there. There, I found a, found a way. So we are exceedingly decorated today because I needed decoration. So there we go. Um, this is the Rebecca, the variation, the Rebecca variation, variations on a sock bun. This is the Rebecca variation. Um, without all the accoutrement, it is a uh, very pretty, uh, with the added accoutrement, it is spooky pretty, I guess. I don't know. I like it. So there we go. There is your Rebecca variation. I hope Becky likes it. She likes to use a lot of adornments. I'm very proud of her. She has learned well. Stop opening the door, dogs. <laughs> uh, she decorates her hair a lot now, which I really like. Um, she has lots and lots of pretty things that I don't have, and then I cut it. So I uh, hope you enjoyed this. I hope you try it. Uh, like I said, the sock bun is one of my most favorite buns because there's just a whole variety of stuff you can do with that bun form. Uh, you can have big buns, you can have little buns, you can do a really standard, very smooth, pretty bun, or you can just pile crap on top of it. And it's nice because since you pin into the bun form, it acts like a pin cushion, so there aren't pins on your head. There's all in that bun form. Um, but yeah, this is a low one for me, and I know some of you are like, it doesn't look very low, but if you see, my scalp is actually up here, so the, like, I couldn't pin the, yeah, my head's weird, guys. I can't help it. So that is low for me. Um, but it's not directly. If I do this, it's touching my neck, which I can't stand. But that's fine. It's good for now. <laughs> I have weird things. So there you go. I'm going to take some pictures. And then, yeah. I hope you like this one. I don't know. I think it's cool. It looks nice and neat, which is good. Um, it takes a little bit of time. Oh, by the way, I can't remember if I said so. As you're... As you're winding your braids, you're going to use more and more pins the closer you get into the center because um, instead of having, being able to go around and then kind of be anchored on top, um, they then come onto the face of the bun. So instead of being able to sit like this, they're kind of sitting like this. So you're going to use more and more pins as you get to closer to the center, basically, um, just so you know. Uh, so you can 
allot your pins accordingly. Uh, yeah, you use more pins, and then especially like right in the center, you got a pin to keep it going roundy roundy and not funky funky. All right, I'm no longer making sense, so that's my cue. Uh, please to enjoy photos of your uh, co lovelies. You're all my lovelies. Uh, yeah, enjoy photos of yourselves and uh, some of our cohorts here at Tord Inc. Uh, all right, love you guys. Bye!